How to set up a collision shape using Godot IDE. Greetings. We are continuing with tutorial how to make a 2D Godot game. In the third lecture, we are start speaking about collision shapes. We have character body 2D and static body 2D nodes with added collision shape. This node is called collision shape 2D. And now we will add, we will define a shape for it. So when you go to inspector window and find shape property, you will find here in this uh, combo box options like new world boundary shape, segment shape, separation ray, circle, rectangular shape. For character body, we will uh, select a new capsule shape. Click once. And here we uh, can see this. Now we can change the position of the character. So select the character and then select this mode, mode or click W and move it somewhere here. Now I'm using scroll button on the, on the mouse and this is the looking of this collision shape. You can change it, select mode like this. So this is some kind of width and the height of this collision shape. So we'll change it like this. Later, we can make some updates in this collision shape. For the static body, collision shape can be a rectangular shape, so new rectangular shape. Uh, you can also select uh, something like new world boundary shape. We will select this just to show uh, what's happening. I'm again using scroll button and here you can see how this uh, shape look. We'll move it down there. So this is some kind of a collision shape. Uh, this uh, arrow show where the game space is. So if we want to put it uh, down there, we will put it like this. If we put it, if you if you want to put this collision shape on some of the sides, we will rotate it like this, and then we'll we can put it here. For a precise rotation, uh, use uh, transform in inspector window. So collision shape found no, find the node 2D transform and then for precise rotation, use rotation and just write what, what you want. Example, 80 degrees. And uh, this uh, will be border for the game on the right side, for example. And we can put it like this. We can add more shapes like this, or we can try to duplicate a node. So, uh, how to do, do duplication, go to the node you want to duplicate and the uh, right mouse button, click on duplicate or just control plus D. So we have another shape and uh, we will change our rotation in a transform. So rotation will be minus 90. Let's see what we'll get. And we'll put it here. We can also add one more with a duplicate. And now it's a third collision shape. We will put it somewhere, somewhere. Let me change transform to zero. So, uh, uh, uh. All of this collision shape are interconnected because they are duplicated. So be aware what you are changing. 
for example, we can change a position and the position of the other object will be same. So now we put uh, this uh, a type of collision shape. This is world boundary. Uh, so we set the world boundary to the three side and we have our collision shape. Now we will jump a little bit further with the teaching, teaching just to check this boundaries because uh, before uh, we use um, a static body with rectangular and other shapes for boundaries and we don't use this uh, world boundary uh, shape 2d and now uh, what uh, can we do we will select a character body and just click on the attach a new or existing script to the selected node nothing more then uh, be aware we need this template character body 2d basic movement template this uh, need to be automatically added and then just click on create now uh, we have some kind of script here for a movement this movement uh, use uh, predefined left and right uh, you can use arrows for this and there is some kind of velocity, speed, define it here. Also jump velocity for uh, jumping. Uh, to jump, uh, you can use a space bar and need to be on the floor. So let's uh, just test this without uh, other explanation. And what we need to do, we need to enable visible collision shape. So debug visible collision shape. This is one of the important steps in uh, creating game prototype. Now we see all collision shapes here. Our object is down there. So let me show you again. Uh, character body, I can put it here, for example. And when we start it, under the gravity character body goes where to the uh, first collision shape so this kind of boundary is working uh, down there so on the left side it's working i cannot move further and here it's also working so this kind of uh, settings for a game boundary is okay uh, in the game when we go forward after this uh, prototyping you will not see these arrows and uh, this uh, blue shapes for collision collision shapes are not visible in the game you create some kind of visible shape in a game uh, as i say before this will be done when we start to add some visible props into the game good let me show you jumping so jumping also working and jumping in a close to the border it's also working so everything is fine as you see in a few lectures you have some uh, beginning of a video game this can be done in one two or three minutes of work but uh, i always try to explain a little bit more so if you are a beginner you can easily navigate through this uh, godot integrated developers environment and uh, through the using of uh, gd script this will be all in this lecture we will continue in the next one